welcome to Chris's Carnival on Ice. Uh, we're heading to work because we're crazy. Uh, we're going up a ramp at ooh, 37 miles an hour. Uh, and it's going to turn just slightly. Uh, we've been over 11 bridges so far. <laughs> We've been over 11 bridges for, this is number 12. No, actually, it's, it's not really uh, So this is number nothing. Um, we've been going an average of 30, 35 miles an hour. Uh, we've had people pass us going ridiculous speeds, all in SUVs and pickups, because they're immune to ice. Uh, they should say that on the advertising, I think. Uh, taking it slow and easy, hoping to get at least a couple of hours at work and then not get told off the news media. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of traffic around. In fact, right now, uh, there isn't any on the road at all. Oh no, there's still, oh there we go. There's a truck in front of us. And there's people joining from, oh, there's, oh, there's, there's traffic. Uh, another thing, people aren't using the lights or indicators or anything, and uh, apparently people in Texas are crappy winter drivers. <laughs> All of them, just every single one of them, useless. And I'm an expert, obviously, just so you know. I'm, I'm from a cold place, uh, and so therefore I instinctively know how to drive in the cold and the wet and the snow and the ice. Isn't that right, Nancy? Yeah, huh? My silent partner in crime. Uh, I normally come down this road at about 70, sometimes 75. Don't tell the bobbies. Um, and today we're doing 34 miles per hour. You get to see all the beautiful scenery in the clouds, I guess. Uh, there isn't actually any snow or sleet or freezing rain right now. Uh, I don't know. If, if, if we die in a horrible car crash and this is the only re uh, re thing recovered from the, the fire, um, uh, I love you, ma'am, and dad, and family. Nancy doesn't, because she's not saying anything. Ow. <laughs> You're not supposed to punish the driver while he's driving in the ice. <laughs> Nancy loves you all too. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm out of things to say and I'm trying to concentrate on the driving too, so. Which is difficult with a hard, uh, broken arm that I just got punched in. Uh, now, if Nancy can focus on the uh, the off ramp thing here, you may notice that this off ramp heads down over, uh, and we are right, we're going to go over a bridge just now. Bridges are bad. Uh, they always warn you about bridges. See, there's even a sign: "Watch for ice on bridge." Uh, kind of ice everywhere right now, but specifically on the bridge. Uh, but that one goes down over. Uh, which isn't so bad, but our exit ramp, I just realised, is like a 45 degree angle up a hill, and I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if the car's going to get up there, so we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so this is bridge number 11, 12, I don't know, we'll call this number 11, actually it's not so bad, we'll just go straight over it. Well, at this speed, we'll be at work in another 25 minutes, so this could be a long video. I think I might have Nancy stop it, and I'll start again when we get closer to the exit. Bye!
the exit ramp is just up ahead that we're going to try and make and hope that we'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to watch these two cars and see how they do. Uh, the most awesome thing in the world just happened, but we missed it on the camera. A guy in a big pickup blew past us at like 70 mile an hour. Um, <laughs> and he swerved in front of us and he bounced off the barrier and lost <laughs> he lost his uh, his front bumper. He just hit the barrier full on and lost the front bumper. And he had to pull over to the side and... Uh, and everybody else just drove by. <laughs> everybody else just drove by him. And that was awesome. It was just a sight to behold. It was like live karma in front of me. Uh, oh, there's a dead car in the ditch. Ah, oh, what's he doing? Um, so we're going to try and make this corner without hitting the dead car. You know they say don't turn and brake? I need to turn and brake. So let's see what happens here. There was a person coming along at exactly the wrong speed to uh, wheel spin. Okay, so we're almost at work now, which has taken uh, 56 minutes so far. We'll round that up to almost exactly an hour um, when we actually get there. Which is strange because on a normal day with the normal traffic it takes about an hour to get to work. So, um, who knew? Um, anyway, even if the rest of the day is horrible and pitiful and cold and wet, just seeing that guy bounce off the barrier and losing his bumper has made it all worthwhile. While everybody else went 30. <laughs> While everybody else was going 30. The tortoise and the hare. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. They should have taught him that nursery rhyme when he was a kid. Anyway, bye bye for now, and um, I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, wow, my lane just disappeared. Wow, okay, I'll take this lane instead. Uh, right, behind the big white van, over on the right hand side coming around, is a thing seldom seen in Texas. It's a gritting machine and a plow. Well, I don't know if you can see the plow ahead. Ooh, look at the plow. I'm Mr. Plow, the Plow King, said Homer Simpson one time. Anyway, it's pretty awesome. Snow and ice and things, small cars, children, anything that gets in its way, totally destroyed. Remind me not to go near that thing. Oh, there's another one up ahead, I think, because there's more fashion lights. Or is that just the, uh, that's the warning truck, maybe? Well, wasn't this exciting? Unless you want to keep filming in case some crazy people uh, try to overtake them. I can if you want me to. Yeah. I think we're good. I'll go. Okay. Well, yeah. No? Yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye bye. Watch out for the crazy person besides.